So today I just want to run through quickly my uh, custom Jumbo that I got from Bass Pro Shops and totally decked out, did a couple cool things and I hope you guys get some uh, cool ideas and maybe some inspiration for uh, a John boat that you guys are looking to customize. So this is my custom John boat. It is a 14 foot tracker topper from Bass Pro Shops with matching load right trailer from Bass Pro Shops. This boat being a John boat and having a flat bottom, it really makes for kind of a rough ride. The motors I'm working with is a Evinrude 9.993, very reliable motor, perfect for what I need around here. We do have a 10 horsepower limit here in Rhode Island. That's with a 3 gallon gas tank. And then we have the Motor Guide X3 45 pound thrust 12 volt bow mount trolling motor. Again, excellent. Small for this boat. Fits on the deck just right. Off the bow I run a Lawrence Elite 4X HDI fish finder with the transducer mounted on the trolling motor and it's run straight through to there. Off the back I run a Lowrance Hook 4 with Chirp. Also has a chart plotter on it. And that transducer is going to be run off the back. I do tournament bass fishing quite often, so here I have made a cooler live well. It's wired back over here to where the back fish finder is. Turn that on. And then we have our cooler live well. Keep your five bass lemon in. Decking is all done by me. It is three quarter inch plywood with Bass Pro Shops marine carpet. And over here I did cut out an insert for tackle storage. Back here we have the battery box with a onboard waterproof charger that I just keep plugged in and it keeps the batteries nice and charged up. Two batteries in there, both ever starts from Walmart, never had a problem. And here is the GoPro boom. I don't know if anybody of you have watched my kayak video, but it's fully adjustable there. Put your GoPro on there, get some cool shots. Also use the Velcro rod holders while my rods are on here. So this way here, when I'm on the deck, I can have my rods on either side of me, easily be picked up from one to the other, and they're secure while on the road. It does have under deck storage where I keep a couple of retractable paddles, all the life jackets that are necessary. But it's very limited access in there with the live well in the way, so I try not to keep a lot in there, but the all under there is open for storage. All in all, if you're looking for a boat to get on the little ponds, this is definitely the way you want to go. 
uh, buying a big tracker requires a lot more maintenance, requires a lot more being careful. This one I can launch easily, get it back on easily. Uh, fishes pretty well. It's pretty stable. Obviously not going to be as stable as the nitros and bigger trackers, but it does get the job done. Alright everybody, so that is my custom Jumbo. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll see if I can't answer them for you. And uh, if you can, subscribe for me. That'd be awesome uh, for more videos coming up. If you guys want to check out this video here, uh, the best bass fishing lure in my opinion and how to use it, check it out. You will catch more fish. And as always, I'll see you on the water.